everyone, this is Teacher Mel. Today we are going to determine the relationship between the hypothesis and the conclusion of an F then statement. Now, if we have a statement, it has two parts, the hypothesis and the conclusion. What do we mean by the word conditional statement? So, conditional statement is a logical type of statement that has two parts. As I said earlier, it's a, it has a hypothesis and a conclusion. And a conditional can be written in F then form. If hypothesis, then the conclusion. What do we mean by the word hypothesis? When we say hypothesis, it states that the given facts that are assumed to be true. Pag sinabi namang conclusion, what needs to be proven or established? Implication is a statement formed by the hypothesis and the conclusion. If P, then Q, or P implies Q. Okay, so we have here if hypothesis, then conclusion. Yung letter P natin, it represent the hypothesis and the letter Q represent our conclusion. Okay, let's have our first example. If it's a quadrilateral, then it has four sides. Okay, so if hypothesis, then conclusion, the statement that start with F, ibig sabihin, that would be our hypothesis. And the statement that start with then would be our conclusion. So therefore, ang hypothesis natin, it's a quadrilateral. Ang ating conclusion, it has four sides. Another example, if today is Monday, then tomorrow is Tuesday. Identify natin ang ating hypothesis and the conclusion. This would be our hypothesis and this would be our conclusion. Ibig sabihin... Hypothesis would be, today is Monday, at ang ating conclusion ay, tomorrow is Tuesday. Another example, if a number is even, then it has a factor. This is our hypothesis, and this one is our conclusion. Ibig sabihin, hypothesis, a number is even. At ang ating conclusion, it has a factor. Okay? Thank you everyone. If you have questions, just comment below. Please subscribe for more math videos. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Once again, this is Teacher Mel.